Hello again. I loved drawing as a child. Since both my parents were artists and designers, I was always well supplied with paper and pencil and usually other materials as well. My mother had worked for a major book printing company, so sometimes I was given entire dummy books to fill. Ideas about visual language and graphic design were part of kitchen table talk, even before I had anything to add. When I was taken for the first time to Chicago's Chinatown in the early 1950s, I noticed and was attracted to the signs on stores and restaurants and the type font used by newspapers. When I began college, I took a design class for which I had to purchase a technical pen called a rapidograph to learn how to draw with it, I first wrote a cursive alphabet as if it were the as if it were one word, and the pen went off on its own here and there in ornamentation that looked like doodling. I also took some anthropology and archaeology courses, giving me the chance to see many different systems people have created to share words by making marks as opposed to sounds. As I became an artist, I began making drawings that suggested verbal language while only using visual language to communicate. In Hello Again, I layer different language-like marks over each other, giving visual depth and a sense of time passing. I first drew large black calligraphic forms with brush and ink then partially obscured them with a thin wash of white acrylic paint. Over that, I used a pencil to outline new shapes, influenced by modern signs I had seen on a trip to Korea. Between these outlined shapes, I wrote real words in English to create texture and to make the outlined shapes pop out from the drawing's surface.